Welcome back everyone. Two videos ago, we learned about dynamic API routes. We used square brackets to specify the file name, which is then available in the request handler through the query object. Typically, you would need such an API route to handle get, patch, or delete requests. Sometimes though, you might have an API route where the segments are optional. For example, slash API slash segment one slash segment two slash segment three. However, segment two and three might be optional. And not just that, you might want one single API route which should handle one segment in the URL or even a hundred segments in the URL. In such cases, you can make use of catch all routes. The file naming convention is identical to catch all routes for pages. Let me show you how it works. Back in VS Code, in the API folder, I'm going to create a new file. The file name is within square brackets dot 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 params.js. We can now define a handler function within the file. Export default function handler. And this receives request and response as parameters. Now to get hold of the different URL segments, we use request.query. So const params is equal to request.query.params. Here params refers to the file name. Let's log it to the console and send it back as JSON response res.status of 200 dot json params. We can now save the file and test it out in the browser. If we first navigate to just slash API, we get back the home API from index.js. This is because we do have a specific route for just slash API. If we now navigate to slash API slash one, we get back an array with the URL segment as an element. The same is logged in the terminal from our console log statement as well. Add slash two, and the same happens. Slash three, and you can see the array now contains all three URL segments. So for any number of segments you add, the same API route handler is executed with all the segments being available on the request.query object. Now what if we want slash API also to be handled by this catch all route and not the index.js route? Well, we can delete the index.js file. If you now head back to the browser and navigate to just slash API, to our surprise, we get a 404 response. And this is because catch all routes are not meant to handle routes without any parameter at all. If it is still something you want though, you're probably looking for optional catch all routes. So in the file name, Instead of specifying single square brackets, we include double square brackets. If we now go back to the browser and refresh, we don't see the 404 page anymore. We don't see any response either because params is in fact undefined. You can see that here in the terminal. So depending on your application requirements, you might have a need for catch all or optional catch-all routes. Hopefully, you're now equipped with the knowledge to make a decision if and when that requirement does come your way. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.